Hello guys, welcome to BHDL Programming with Xilinx, Bivaro Design Suite and Zinc FVG. We are from Digitronics Nepal. So this course is based upon BHDL Programming along with Bivaro and Zinc. So we already have completed up to section 7 which includes from basic design to combination circuit design, sequence circuit designs and student machine design in BSDL. So we are in section 8 currently and in section 8 we have ALU design in BSDL. So this section consists of four lecture series. Lecture first is ALU overview. So we have short overview about arithmetic logical unit. So what that arithmetic and logical unit did and how the operation perform in ALU. Actually, arithmetic and logical unit is major part of any processor. So while we thinking about processor or while we designing processor, like RIX processor, 32-bit processor, 16-bit processor, or 64-bit processor, etc., we should careful about arithmetic and logical unit. Actually, the main operation done in processor is in ALU. So we have overview of ALU in lecture 1. In lecture 2, we have different type of ALU implementation in BSDL. So we have first of all 2-bit ALU and second we have 8-bit ALU with register and we are going to design a ALU with designing a register. Actually, register is a type of memory. We are going to utilize a BSDL schematic, BSDL semantics for writing register. And in third, we have n-bit ALU with register and generic. So we are going to design an n-bit ALU, which can be modified into any bit format. So n-bit means n is variable, so we can change that n into 2-bit, 8-bit, 4-bit, 16-bit, 3rd-bit, etc. So we don't care about that. And in lecture 3, we have lab 8.1, which is n-bit ALU design, simulation, and implementation on FPGA. So this section actually based upon the design tool. So we are going to design NBT ALU and we are going to simulate that NBT ALU and we are going to implement that NBT ALU on FPGA. So in lecture 4 we have lab A2 which is 8-bit ALU design with wall stream multiplication algorithm. So within lecture 3 we already plan to talk about the basic fundamentals of ALU that is arithmetic and logical operations however the multiplication and division operation are quite different so we need to utilize different algorithm for multiplying and dividing any variables or inputs so in lecture 4 we have lab 2 which is Utilizing Wallace tree multiplication algorithm. Actually, Wallace tree multiplication algorithm is optimized algorithm for multiplication. Like there are different algorithms for division, which we are going to talk on later session. So we are going to utilize that Wallace tree algorithm for multiplication operation performing inside that 8-bit ALU, or we can even talk on n-bit ALU. So here is a basic schematic of ALU. Actually, ALU is arithmetic and logical unit, so it will have different operations. So that operation will be selected from different selection line as in the multiplexer. So actually, multiplexer have different selection line. It selects any of the inputs to outputs. So this selection line defines the operation. So it works as of core. So we have two different input A and input B. That input A and input B has to be operated. This operand has to be operated with operator which was selected by the opcode and it will give the output in out ALU format. So this is 4-bit ALU block diagram. So let's go to our section. In lecture first, we have ALU overview. Already We already talked on arithmetic and logical unit. It performs arithmetic operation which is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. These are the major arithmetic operation and in logical operation or logical part it did 
different logic operation like ending, oring, inverting, xor, xnor, etc. There are lots of logical operation so which are being performed in logical unit or ALU. So while we design ALU, we must have some inputs, we must have some off code like selection and we must have some output. So these are the main three things which we have seen in previous block diagram. We have input, selection and output. The selection actually selects the operation which can be seen in the table. So we have here another figure which shows that we have different input state. So that has been selected. That input states have been selected the operation. So while the input is 0, 0, 0 it will select 0, uh, a plus p and while input is 0, 0, 001 select a minus p and i'm talking about multiplication and division we need to utilize different type of algorithm so this type of alu can be implemented on fag with slide switches buttons and light emitting diodes which are been predefined in fag board and we can even use utilize 7 second display for showing the results and operation or even we can use liquid crystal displays which is mostly available in different FEG boards. So on lecture 2 we have 2 bit ALU, 8 bit ALU with register and n bit ALU with register and generic. Actually we are going to talk on 2 bit ALU. Actually 2 bit ALU takes 2 bit input of each input and it might take 2 inputs that is each of 2 bit and it will perform some 2 bit operation so that operation will gives the result in 2 bit format so this is the basic of 2 bit ALU which can be seen here we have a b different 2 inputs each of 2 bit and we have selection that is 2 bit and finally we have result of 2 bit so this is the main 2 bit ALU which can be represented or scripted in BSDL is like following so we have library as we talked previously and one thing extra we need to know about is we need to have use IEEE dot standard underscore logic underscore unsigned dot ALL and use IEEE dot standard logic arithmetic that is ARITS dot ALL these two extra libraries for performing A plus B like operation or A minus B like operation so that arithmetic operators which we are taught in BHL data types and operator in previous section has utilized in this section. So we need to have unsigned and unsigned dot and ARITS dot libraries for performing this operation. So we have these four libraries and we have entity ALU. This entity ALU consists of A, B that is two different inputs and selection that is selection for operation selection and we have result in output format so this is the basic entity of alu that is 2 bit alu and we have architecture actually the foundation of alu is same for 2 bit or any higher bit but there will have different operation and there might have some like implementation of register or generic for implementing higher bit alu so this is the very basic foundation of arithmetic and logical unit so here we, we can see we have architecture behavior of ALU each process actually process has been started which includes sensitivity list of all the inputs that is A, B and SEL. We need to know about sensitivity list which are all inputs in combination logic circuits and in sequence circuits uh, we need to have all inputs along with clock. And in begin process has been begin so we have case, case SEL that is SEL is input variable so we are going to check the value of SEL or condition of SEL is when value of SEL is 0 0 then it will treat A plus B operation and it will pass the result to RES when SEL is 0 1 it will do the operation of A minus B actually this is the A minus B operation which is A plus not B plus 1 actually A minus B can be obtained from A plus inverting of b plus 1 so this is the operation of a minus b and we have when selection is 1 0 we have a and b and when selection is 1 1 we have a or b into res and when there is no any 
satisfied condition that need to be defined in case so that is when others when others x x value will pass to rs actually x x is unknown value so we are talking about different nine logic states in standard logic data type so here we have used standard logic as well as standard logic vector actually this is standard logic vector that is standard logic vector is also a type of data type array type of standard logic which consists of different nine logical states so xx is accepted for standard logic as well as 0 1 0 w etc so case has been ended and process has been ended as well as behavior have been ended so this is the very basic implementation of alu so let's go to simulation to experience of alu that two bit alu that is quite simple we have library two library we have input entity we have architecture starting here so we have call component of alu that is previous alu inside of test bench and we have the end component and we have some signals for representing those inputs type of inputs type of variable of alu and we have some extra signals and we are going to start begin and we have board mapping of uh, unit under test and our alu unit so each signals of a will be mapped with port of alu a and b will map with port of alu b and scl is mapped with port of alu scl and rs that is result is mapped with result of alu so port mapping has been done so this is the very basic idea about structural design in bsdl so it consists of component signals and port mapping so after then what we are going to do is we have a separate process for stim uh, sorry simulation or stimulation so it will uh, define the user defined stimulus inside of process so we have process we have some process starting begin and we have some delay here so we are going to get different values or state of inputs like we have 00, 0 in a 00, 0 in b 00, 0 in scl and we have some delay for holding the results for some time so that delay provides us the recognition or identification of that input states and outputs as well as we have a is 0 1 b is 0 0 and scl is 0 0 so, so scl 0 0 consists of a plus b operation so scl 0 0 is a selection which actually selects the a plus b operation so this is a plus b this is a plus b and 0 1 is a minus b and 1 0 is actually a and b and 1 1 is a or b so these are the four operation actually this first operation has been repeated while the value of a and b is changed but we can even expand this stimulus in more extra states so we have just five states so we define it at five states even we can define further more states so uh, the process of stimuli stimulus is ended here so we have some weight and in the process and we have enough behavior so this is the implementation of alu design and simulation of alu design in two bit format so let's go to eight bit alu design with a register actually there is no any uh, like a definition of a register in that two bit alu so we are going to design a eight bit alu design eight bit alu with register so in this eight bit alu we have of course of 3 bit and we have inputs of 8 bit two different inputs of 8 bit and we have we have finally the some selection line and we have results results 8 bit results along with single bit carry so this is the implementation of 8 bit alu in bsgl so we can see the block diagram in first we have a register a we are going to define or, or design a register actually register is a type of uh, memory which we are going to design from the logic of flip-flop we already talked about flip-flop if any is trigger condition is present and we are going to shift the value of one variable to another so another variable will work is register so actually register is the, is the memory element which works at rising edge of clock so if the rising edge of clock is present and we are going to change the or uh, transfer the or assign the one variable or first variable data to another second variable then second variable works as the register so we are going to show, uh, show you the implementation of register in bhgr soon
so let's see the block diagram actually in this block diagram what we have is we have two different inputs of x and y of 8 bit we have LDA and LDB for selection of register A and register B. Actually, this LDA and LDB will trigger the register. So, register A and register B will be formed from this trigger, edge trigger. And we have NVT LA which have three bit operation which has been represented here in the upcode table. And it will provides us actually, it will provide us nine bit result. Actually, this is nine bit results we have. 9 bit results and that 9 bit results will be stored in register C. And when we place LDC, that is also a trigger input. So, this a trigger input triggers are uh, differentiates that 9 bit outputs to carry an output sum. So, this is the 8 bit ALU plus diagram representation.